Hey guys, it's Kim and I'm back with another Project Pan update. This is for This Is Fantasy, and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab created by Allie from um, Allie in Wonder in Allie. Wonder in Allie Land. Jeez, I'm crow. I always, I've always messed that up. Allie, I'm very sorry, but she hasn't been around in a while. I hope she's doing okay. Um, I haven't seen her on the YouTubes lately, but if you'd like to know how I did with this update, please continue watching. Okay, so I had been rolling in three prompts every month because this project ends in October and I wanted to make sure I could work through every single prompt. October 11th is I think National Fantasy Day and that's why she created this project to go until that date. So the first prompt I had is for Troll. That is an ugly creature depicted as either a giant or a dwarf. It dwells in rocks, mountains, or caves known to be master builders. And that is a project with ugly packaging. And I chose this Dr. Paw Paw multi-purpose soothing balm with natural paw paw, whatever the heck paw paw is. You can use this on anything, eyes, lips, cheeks. I only use it on my lips and it is super slow going. I am only down to there. I use this all the time at school. The good news is, is that the packaging is shrinking. Um, I'm able to like bend it and stuff, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this by October. I'm gonna surely try, but I am so sick of this and I, I'm just like, I want it gone. So I, come hell or high water, I'm using this. So I don't know, wish me luck, we'll see. It has a little bit of a tint to it, a red tint, but I don't know, Ugh, I don't like it, but I'm gonna keep using it. It did go from 24.03 to 23.74. So it is going down in weight, but ugh, it's such an annoying product. Um, for Phoenix, that is a mythical bird known for rising from its ashes, symbolizes renewal and rebirth. That is a product that you rep repressed or depotted. And for that, I chose my Milk Makeup Stick in the shade um, Work. This is the Lip and Cheek Mini. And I depotted it into this container and it is gone. Super excited. I even, um, you would have seen this in my empties, but I even dug that out. Um, I, I'm very, 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 very excited about this. I had been working on this for two years. So that is now in my empties. Actually, you haven't seen it yet in my empties. So this wasn't a spoiler. Um, I'm gonna clean this out and repress something else into it that I'm excited about because I've been wanting to repress one of my loose powders in here. So. Yay! That is out of my collection and out of this project. Yay. Um, next up is Fairy, a mythical being from folklore and romance with human form and magical powers associated with plants in springtime. So this is a plant or nature themed product. And for that, I chose my Flower Beauty Balm in the shade Pinched. I was supposed to use this 10 times. I've only used it six and I haven't used it at all since last update. So this is sticking around and I'm gonna put it in my everyday makeup container so that I can keep using it <clears throat> until October. Um, because it is, I have this project and what else? Pan of Green Gables that's coming up to end soon. Um, throwback 30. So there's a couple of projects that I have that are ending sooner rather than later that I have over in that section so that I can um, use them a lot. Anyway, going on with the update. So next I have my Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer and that is for the prompt Hydra, a many-headed serpent or monster. Um, heads grow back when cut off. This is a product that you keep panning and panning but never finish. That could be right up there with this Paw Paw Balm. It could be right up with there with that milk stick, but 
I finished it. I'm so excited. So I had been using this every day, whether I did makeup or not. Um, it was a nice balm to you. I mean, there's a teeny tiny bit around the edges, but even with my fingernail, I can't really like get it out enough to like do anything with it. But anyway, I had been using this in the mornings. It, it, it was a nice, um, uh, cooling sensation uh, under my eyes, but I wouldn't repurchase it. In fact, you can't repurchase it because Becca is out of business. But then I started using the milk cooling stick. I've been using that in the mornings and I do like that as well. Um, it just feels good in the morning. I wouldn't repurchase that one either because it's not like it's a miracle. Ooh, it makes me feel so good that I need to repurchase it. But anyway, I'm babbling. Um, let's get on with this. Next prompt is for Unicorn, a legendary creature described as a beast with a single large pointed spiraling horn symbolizes purity, freedom, gentleness, virginity, innocence, divinity, and magic. Brings signs of good luck, happiness, and a positive omen. And for that, you choose a brand new untouched product. And I chose, is this really what I chose? I guess so. My Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Um, I am to use this five times. I've only used it once and I haven't used it at all since the last update. So four more times. I like this. It's very, very light, but it suits me for some reason. It does look good on my skin um, and I, I do like this so far. So staying in for another four uses. Um, then for, let's see, Elf, which is a humanoid supernatural being with magical powers and supernatural beauty, mischief, mischievous or malicious. This is a product that makes you feel beautiful. And for that, I chose a highlighter because highlighters always make me feel pretty. And I chose my Stila highlighter. This is the Heaven's Hue one in the shade Kitten. And this is what it's looking like. My goal is to use it five times. I've used it twice. This is one of those that like, it's like putty in a sense. It pushes in. This is a Paula from a beauty guru made me do it purchase. Um, and I'm not mad that I did. Um, here's what it looks like on my finger. And here is what it looks like swatched out. It is very, very pretty. Currently, I'm, I have it in my inner corner and in my on my brow bone as a highlight. And I really like it. I've used it twice. I need to use it five times. And so it's staying in and I'm not mad at that. For Centaur, a creature that is half man and half horse, that is a duo product. And for that, I chose this Cover FX blush. And this is in the shade Soft Peach. I really, really like this too. Um, I keep saying that. Um, my goal is to use it five times. I've used it once. I didn't use it at all since the last update. So here this is, and I'll swatch them both on top of each other. So, um, there are the three shades that you can mix because I what I did was I did um, the shimmer and then the matte and then I mixed them together to do that. So that's what usually what I do is I just tap in both shades and I mix them up together. Um, so yeah, so that's staying in. I have to use it four more times and I'm going to put it over in my makeup drawer as well. For gnome, that is a dwarfish creature, dwarfish, dwarfish creature who guards the earth's treasures underground. That is a gemstone or mineral themed product. And for that, I chose this Cleona shade in Sandblast. Oh, these are so stunning because um, you have to sandblast for minerals. Look at that. It is, it shifts. Like there's green, gold, red, purple. Oh. Here is there. See, in my, I can see it. It's gold and green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see that too. But then if you shift it, it's like purple, pink. Oh, it's just stunning. It is so pretty. These Cleona shades. If you're on the fence about should I buy Cleona or not, yes, you should. If it's in your budget, you should. It's gorgeous. Um, I need to use it five times. I've only used it two. That's staying in as well. Um, for giant, oversized humanoids known for strength and aggression existed before the gods. So this is a product you loved before the beauty community made it big. And I don't know if this is true for me, like I liked it before the beauty community made it big, but I didn't know that this kind of product was part of 
normal beauty community um, when I was in my MLM. So in Unique, we had these cream to powder um, eyeshadows that were in pots. And I was like, oh, these are like so unique to our company. And they weren't. Um, in fact, ColourPop <laughs> does them nicely in Super Shock. So I chose the Super Shock in Lala, and my goal is to use it five times. I have used it three. I'm, you, I'm getting there where you can see that little nubby. Um, my goal isn't to hit pan, but I wouldn't be mad if I did. So here's what it looks like on my finger. This is one of my favorite shades in the Super Shocks. So there it is there. It's really pretty. So I have to use it two more times and that's okay with me. Um, next up is for Zombie. A corpse that was super naturally reanimated. Walking dead, decaying, rotting skin, hungry for human flesh. That is a product that is falling apart. And I chose this eyeshadow from Glamlight. This is from the Miracle Palette and this is in the shade Rosa. When I depotted this from the palette, it just crumbled and made a mess. In fact, I just crumbled it more by swatching it. So I'm gonna put it back in my palette. I am gonna do a repressing session on some of my shadows and stuff. So that is on my palette to do that with. And here is a swatch of it right there. I am wearing it today. I have it in my crease. It is such a pretty um, product. And it really does build well. Glam White just has some of the most beautiful shadows. And the more I'm using them, the more I'm just truly enjoying them. So yay, those of you who told me you're going to love them, you were right. <laughs> um, for Goblin, a monstrous creature believed to be evil, greedy, or mischievous brings nothing but trouble to humans. This is a product that gives you trouble. So for that, I chose my Ofra Corrector Pot in the shame shade Mint. First of all, this gives me trouble because this is on the naughty list as far as um, brands go, but I do like some stuff from Ofra. Second of all, this is a really like sticky product. You can see my fingerprints in there maybe. Um, it's a really sticky product and then it's really, really green, which is something I, I need, but it's very difficult to like blend out. And I feel like no matter what I do, I have green, but then it's always covered with my um, foundation like it always seems to work out so I don't know my goal is to use this five times I've used it once so far um, I have found that using green color correctors underneath my base products has really helped with my makeup application and I feel like it just is such it does such a better job for me as far as like making my skin look good and not as rosy so you know I'm gonna keep using it but it is kind of a pain in the butt to use um, and then for Chimera, that was a fire-breathing female monster with a lion's head, a goat's body, and a serpent's tail. So for that, we were to choose a Franken product. And I don't Franken things, so I took two products that I thought, well, I'll just put these together and that'll be kind of like a Franken. So I chose this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and the Ulta Tinted Sunscreen um, with the goal to use them five times each and I've used them once so far. So these are also staying in the project. So because I decided I want to roll in three products each month, um, this month, I only had three left. So I will be working on the rest of these prompts for the entirety of the rest of this project. And what I pulled in was, um, first of all, for Basilisk, King of the Serpents, a magical beast bred by dark wizards. So that's a dark matte shadow. And for that, I chose the Sydney Grace shadow. This is a matte. I got this from Misty in a giveaway, and this is in the shade Evergreen. I've been waiting to pull this shadow in um, because I've been really loving greens lately. I thought this would be the perfect time. So there it is there, and my goal is to use it five times, just like most of my other eyeshadow goals, because you guys know I don't wear makeup that often. I wanna keep my goals realistic. Then for Cyclops, which is a one-eyed giant, we were reading about that in school because we read the Odyssey and the kids were so grossed out slash like excited about the fact that, oh, hold on. Hey. Hey, did you wake up? 
Well, hey everybody, say hi to Amy from Curly Loves Beauty and Books. I'm filming right now. <laughs> I'll call you right back. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that was fun. So anyway, um, they were like grossed out and like, woo, this is really cool out at the same time. But I chose the Sydney Grace Queen of the North because I have realized that in all the um, shadows that I'm panning, I'm not panning one that can just like be a primer um, and set my shadow. So there is that. And then finally for Witch or Wizard, a person who practices magic derived from supernatural occult or arcane sources, a magic themed product. And for that, I chose my um, Cleona shadow in the shade Bloodline. My thought with this was that there's always like a bloodline when it comes to like these magically derived creatures and stuff. You always have to go back and look at the bloodline, at least in the books that I read. So here this is, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Ah, it's like purple, pink, gold. Oh my gosh, loving it. So um, yeah, so this is my update for This is Pantasy. I am really loving the products that I have chosen. I'm excited that this is ending in October, not because I don't like this project, because I really, really do, being an English teacher, hello, um, but it'll give me time to really focus in on these products and then move them out and work on other things. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.